What's up guys, my name is Michael. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm unboxing the iPhone 12 Pro. You can see here I got it in the Pacific blue color. This new box uh, is very thin and that's because you don't get uh, one of these in the box this year or headphones. So Apple was able to make the box very thin. I like how, uh, how nice and sleek it is. So let's go ahead and unbox this iPhone. Uh, so this is the redesign that we were all expecting. So the treatment that the iPad Pro got in 2018 with the flat edges, uh, we now have that on the iPhone 12 Pro. So let's go ahead and unbox this and get the plastic off right here. So as always, Apple makes this process very satisfying, so I will shut up. And then we can pop the top here. And there is the Pacific blue color. And that looks, wow, that looks really nice, especially with the stainless steel. I don't even want to touch it because it's going to get it dirty. So uh, let's take it out here. I already see something different. Man, this phone is cold. Uh, it was sitting in the UPS truck all day and I live in Canada and it's almost winter here. So yeah, this phone is uh, icy. Um, anyway, uh, the stainless steel looks really nice. It's really shiny. Um, geez, I'm, uh, I'm going to put frost on this phone with all my fingerprints. This phone is ice cold. Uh, anyway, let's see what we uh, let's see what we get in the box because it's not much. We get a uh, tiny, cute little pamphlet here, and it doesn't look like there's much in it. We have a single Apple sticker and a, uh, a SIM ejection tool. That's uh, pretty standard stuff. And then we also get this uh, USB-C to Lightning cable, which if you have one of these bricks lying around, which probably not many of you do, uh, you can charge your iPhone. So Apple is uh, saying it's better for the environment. They can make the box this thin but then they make you buy one of these and it has to get shipped in a separate box and it just doesn't make sense. So uh, yeah, Apple, uh, you do you, I guess, keep being courageous and uh, keep taking stuff away from the customer. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess I'm, I'm bitter enough. Let's go and uh, make my mood a little bit better by looking at this iPhone 12 Pro. Man, that looks really nice. Let's just take some time to admire and make sure my camera is in focus. Uh, this is such a nice color, especially around the camera. I don't want to touch it because I'm going to put fingerprints on it. These flat sides really feel nice in the hand. They really make the phone feel like it's, uh, you know, more grabbable. I feel like when I put it down on a table, I can pick it up really easy. Whereas with the other iPhones that had the curved sides, like the iPhone uh, 10, uh, it's really hard to pick it up because you can't really get a grip on the curved edges. This one just feels really easy to hold in the hand. And I feel like I have more of a uh, secure grip on the phone. So let's go ahead and take off this plastic here. So that is about as uh, clean as this iPhone will ever be. And I will quickly turn it on uh, if the battery hasn't been drained by the severe cold. Uh, there we go. So we do have some juice. I just want to show you the bezels on this screen because uh, they have been a little bit reduced from the previous iPhones. So I'm not going to go through the setup in this video. I will have a first impressions video, hopefully up tomorrow, uh, just telling you what I think in the first uh, couple hours of using this phone. But as you can see here, the notch is exactly the same size. So for those of you that were expecting a smaller notch, unfortunately, the notch looks even more uh, in the way now because Apple actually pushed up the bezels and made the bezels slightly smaller while keeping the notch the same size. So hopefully next year we can maybe get a notch reduction, but it is nice this year that at least we get a reduction in the size of the bezel as well as the new squared off design. So quickly here at the end of the video, let's put it in some cases to see what it looks like. So this one is called uh, Kumquat and I haven't set up the phone yet, but we still do get that little animation as you see there uh, when you put it in a case. So that Kumquat really uh, really looks nice. I really like how the blue contrasts there with the orange. So here is the product red silicone case. So you can see there you get that little animation. And I don't like the red as much as the orange or the kumquat, but it definitely looks nice uh, contrasting with that blue color also. And then finally, if you want to show off the uh, color of your iPhone, we have this clear case with a little uh, Apple Park logo, I guess, uh, on the back of your iPhone. So let's, uh, let's pop this on. I think this is going to be my favorite case. So probably my go-to case, honestly, uh, just because it's so simple there. You can see we get a different color animation for each case, which is the most Apple thing ever. So uh, you can see there the blue color of the iPhone is kind of impeded by this ring here in the middle of the case, but it still looks really nice. So tell me in the comments below uh, what your favorite case is.
And I should also show you MagSafe. Now I don't have a plug anywhere near my studio desk, so I won't be able to actually charge it, but uh, you can get an idea for how strong that magnet grips on there. So uh, it's on there pretty well. I don't know why every YouTuber hangs the phone by the cable. Like seriously guys, who is holding their phone like that? No one's dangling a phone from their cable. That's not a serious test. Honestly, if your phone is just sitting on a table and it doesn't really come off with a slight tug, that's all I need. So uh, this magnet is uh, all I need to line up my phone and get it to charge uh, perfectly every time. Uh, I'm a big fan of MagSafe. I don't think I want to put it right on the bare back of the iPhone just because there is aluminum exposed here on the charger. So I think I'm going to stick to using a case whenever I can. But uh, yeah, I will have another video on all the iPhone 12 accessories. So stay tuned for that if you want to learn more. All right, guys, so that was a quick unboxing and first look at the iPhone 12 Pro. Again, I will have a first impressions video hopefully up tomorrow on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you don't miss that video. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next video.